Okay, I need all the energy for this video. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today's video is a little bit different. I've decided to sit down and talk about my experience from having my first ever cervical screening slash smear test. It's a very important topic and I feel like I had quite an interesting experience from it and I wanna share my experience, I wanna share my thoughts I want to share the whole process from start to finish and what I've had to go through in the last year and a bit. This video is going to be a little bit graphic, it is going to be a bit in detail. It is very important to get your smear test done. Very, very important. It can save your life. It basically, even if one person from this video decides to get go and get their smear test booked and goes to their smear test, I'll be happy. I understand the worries behind it and I understand the nerves and why people hesitate to go. You know, it's obviously scary, especially for women who haven't ever had to go to hospital, have never had a baby or anything like that. Like, you're not used to people going down there and <laughs> doing bits. Some people are scared of the results and I again completely understand that. I didn't get the best results, which is why I'm doing this video. It is very, very important for you to get your smear test done. So please, if yours is due or overdue, please just book it. The actual smear test is so quick and you've just done something that could potentially save your life. Let's start with my story. I actually wrote things in my little notebook because I didn't want to forget anything. So I had my first smear in April, I think it was April 2021. So just over a year ago, I booked it, I called up, they asked me if I received the invitation letter, I said yes, so they booked me in and um, I think I had to wait like a month or so for my appointment. I went, I wore something comfortable, I made sure I wore like a really long, because it was cold, so I wore a really long thick jumper with leggings that I could easily take off and I still had like a long thing on top of me. The more comfortable you are, the better. I went to my GP. I sat down with the nurse and she asked me if it was my first time. I said, yeah. She explains that I'm just going to lie down on my bed, on the bed. They gave me like blue roll just to kind of put on top of uh, the naked bits. And then basically had to open my legs. They bring out the equipment, which they actually hide um, from you. They don't try and make it too obvious on what's going on. And I think that's quite good. So then you don't get more freaked out. And she was basically saying like, you know, just breathe, like, you know, if it helps closing your eyes, then do it. And I did close my eyes and just breathed. I Like, I felt nervous because I don't know what to expect. I didn't want to feel tense. And obviously the more relaxed you are, the easier it will be for them to go inside. You won't feel as much pressure. And then obviously they lubed the bit of equipment up slowly put it in she was talking to me at the same time she, she actually made a funny joke going like oh i'm not looking at what you think i'm looking at i was like great thank you so much mine went really really smoothly she literally went in with it swabbed the cervix and then put it all away and then i just got some blue roll to clean up that area put my clothes back on and then she sat me down again and was just like okay this is all done like we're gonna send it off for testing and you should receive your results between like four to eight weeks I think she said and that was it and that was it and I felt like a woman I remember like <laughs> I remember going back to my boyfriend's house being like yeah like I've had my smear test I'm definitely an adult now then I got a letter with the results uh, I think it was like eight weeks after my smear I was getting a bit worried because it was taking a little bit on the longer side and everyone was like oh it's, it must be all right then because you know if it was really urgent they would tell you earlier blah 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 but I was sitting thinking no like I have this bad feeling anyway I got the results and my letter said that I was HPV positive and I had severe dyscariosis or yeah I think that's how you pronounce it dyscariosis which is abnormal cervical cells which are precancerous. I read the letter and that's it I didn't google anything so not only that I was HPV positive I also had abnormal cells which basically means that they could result in cancer if they are left untreated. They uh, invited me for a colposcopy and a biopsy and obviously I turned up, I went to hospital for that, it wasn't at the GP. If you are invited to this I would definitely recommend having someone drive you. I know some people are actually quite okay from this treatment but I wasn't and I'm really really glad that um, I got my boyfriend to drop me off and wait for me for them for him to pick me up again from the hospital another little tip is definitely bring some sort of sugary drink and a chocolate bar with you leave it in the car if it's if there's someone picking you up bear in mind my pain threshold is really really crap 
I've never ever had to go to hospital touch wood. I'm being completely honest with you like I'm not sugarcoat anything here. There were three ladies <laughs> when I turned up at the place that the hospital that I went to was really good actually the nurse is really really lovely she went through it with me in detail what's gonna happen again and then they asked me to get undressed on um, the bottom half my top half was okay because it wasn't too thick but if you're wearing something really really thick they're gonna ask you to take that off as well so I got undressed and then they actually give you like a robe with like the open back and I had to sit down on one of those chairs with the leg things that <laughs> hold you up like that I looked at it and honestly like I actually laughed because you only ever really see that in films and I just didn't really think they like I knew they existed but I was kind of like I didn't know it was done for this kind of thing so I sat in this chair kind of got comfy in a position they wanted me to be in um and then the procedure I guess began so they obviously put like a camera up there which was fine so they used that smear thing to open up my cervix and then they put a camera up there and they were just having a look for a little while and just seeing what's going on um i didn't get to see anything i know some people get to see it if they want to but i didn't i didn't even ask i was like Do you know what i'd rather just not know what's going on and yeah they had like a look then the pain begins <laughs> they took a couple of chunks out of my cervix they felt like really sharp pinches but in a place that you can't like I don't know like protect yourself from do you know what I mean because it's like inside there's nothing you can do you can't really move because obviously they're doing bits and they were just like just breathe through it you know um and the pain went quite quickly from the biopsy so then they poured some liquid I don't know what it is I can't remember the name but I believe it's to show the cells so I think the abnormal cells appear in like a different color or something oh my god I felt like I was gonna faint it was really, really bad period cramps. If you're used to bad period cramps, it might actually be okay for you, but I don't really suffer with bad periods. I've only ever had like three bad periods in my entire life. I thought I was gonna faint. I was getting really like hot and you could, I could feel like my blood like rushing down. The nurses started talking to me a bit more. I could tell that they thought I was gonna faint. And I've never fainted before in my life. They put the fan on and everything and I didn't faint in the end again remember i have a very very low pain tolerance then i remember they were trying to stop the bleeding for a while because i bleed quite a lot my blood is quite thin it just runs i had to sit there for like 10 minutes after it was done just to breathe have some water and just get a little bit like feel a bit more awake again once i felt like i was okay to get up i got up they gave me a really thick sanitary towel when i say thick like i mean like that thick because it's a special doctor one i don't know it was very attractive <laughs> and i think that was pretty much it from that treatment when i left the hospital pascal picked me up and he basically was like you look really white i must have just like i said like just all my blood just rushed away so we actually went to five guys and picked up a burger and that really helped me the recovery period was about four weeks in i think roughly from the top of my head they say that for two weeks you can't have a bath or anything for a minimum of two weeks you can't put anything up so you can't use a tampon you can't have sex do i remember i didn't do anything for four weeks i just wanted to be 100 percent sure and anyway i actually was bleeding for ages i actually came on my period pretty soon after the treatment so not only that i irritated my cervix from obviously having this treatment i also came in my period and i was double bleeding so i wouldn't recommend going on your period if you can help it so if you're like on the pill or something maybe just skip that it was a little bit painful at the beginning for like the first few days i was quite uncomfortable i took the rest of the day off from work i just felt like really heavy and a little bit bloated a bit sore a bit kind of like i was on my period actually and then i had to wait for the results from that i got the letter back saying that i have abnormal cells that need to be removed from the cervix they invited me for a let's treatment which basically is i think it's a hot wire that burns off the abnormal cells from your cervix this actually wasn't as bad as the first the colposcopy and biopsy i remember preparing myself again thinking it's going to be that bad and i brought a fizzy drink with me and a chocolate bar I left it in the car with my boyfriend i went in again i wore like really easy clothing to take off i sat in that chair with my legs up and everything i was chatting away just trying to keep myself busy i felt more nervous this time because i thought it was going to be like the last time what the nurse did is actually give me anesthetic she used 
a needle inside my cervix to numb the area i'm okay with needles not really a problem and also there's just nothing you can do about it i'd rather have that than feel what a let's treatment actually feels like and yeah that was a bit like weird i was like oh then they did it it was great i actually couldn't really feel a thing the only thing i could feel was the pressure of again that little thing that goes inside i love how i do this but you know what I mean? I can't remember what it's called. It's the only thing I could feel. I couldn't feel anything else. Um, it was a lot better than the coposcopy and bi biopsy, let me tell you that. Once it was done, which I believe it was actually quite quick, I had to still sit there for a few minutes after. And they actually talked to me through everything whilst I was in the chair. And they basically said it was actually a really small area, which I'm very fortunate about. And again, I'm very glad that I went to get my smear test done because the longer I left it, the bigger the area could have been they said it was a really small area so they just got rid of you know those cells or they believe that they have got rid of all the abnormal cells with that hot wire the lady basically said like are you aware of like the side effects of this and like you know the recovery time and all that she went through it with me again it's the same thing as last time i didn't feel anything for a little while actually because um it was numb and then it wasn't until i got back that i started to feel a bit uncomfortable we had a subway i remember in the car with my fizzy drink and my chocolate bar just to make myself feel better i still felt like a bit like tired the anesthetic really raises your heart rate and your adrenaline so when that starts to wear off you feel really tired and like lethargic so i didn't really do much for the rest of the day again i just got in bed and i chilled and just felt sorry for myself same recovery bits were coming out of me and all of that very very weird i'll tell you but it went fine here we are basically in the present tense so after six months of the let's treatment slash a year after your smear test you will have another smear test i went like two weeks ago actually recently got my results they came really really quick good news they have found no abnormal cells in my cervix which means that that let's treatment got rid of all the abnormal cells and that makes me super happy that smear test was all worth it basically my next smear test is actually in a year's time so i will try and keep you updated on what happens next if you're interested this is why i want to share my story because yes it was a little bit of an explicit video i think but it also needs to be spoken about openly and i'm very happy to do that if it educates someone even if it's just that one person if you now decide to go get your smear test done and save your life then i am i will be very very happy if you have any questions or anything like drop me a comment message me on instagram or something like i'm always i'm very very open about it everyone always asks me questions but yeah it ended with like a good story i think like a good happy ending and it just shows that me going to that smear test was all worth it in the beginning because yes i've had to go through that crap but i now have no abnormal cells in my cervix which means fingers crossed that means no cervical cancer so who wins i do do i say i hope you enjoyed the video no but i hope you found it interesting and i'll see you all in my next one